Mitchell has the highest standards of anyone I've ever met. That's why I, I still can't believe I made the cut. I mean, it'd be odd if she were like going into a relationship and had lower standards. Mitchell would like never make a decision for me. He didn't care. I don't think like that's in my DNA. I want to eat this so bad. No, that's diabetes no. in saran wrap. That's diabetes, high blood pressure diabetes. I, but I want it. No. I'm in an adult relationship. Like adult relationships, you care about other people's feelings and you respect their feelings. I'm the girlfriend of the year and nope. I respect your opinions. No, honey, that's, that's normal girlfriend. C Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to an adult relationship. It's crazy over here. Glad to be here. It's absolutely not an issue of like, oh, he didn't let you go, he's controlling. It's, it's literally the opposite. It's like me, A, not wanting really to go because I didn't think it would end well, and B, like... Well, and it's hard when you're dating just someone weird. new and you, like, really care about them and yeah. you kind of bring them into this world. It's yeah. like you get a lot of, like, superficial or, like, inauthentic, like, statements being made around you or, like, yeah. behavior, and, like, you, you're, you like, protective and, like, don't want to expose them to it. I don't know, I just don't understand people that gossip that much or like feed off a of drama, Yeah. I just think it's maybe not the worst thing in the world for me to distance myself a little bit. You are who you associate closest with, right? Oh God. Essentially, each relationship, you raise the bar, raise the bar. And I think that's the difference between us and the guys. Like the guys, their bar is just has been the same for like 10 years. Yeah. Hey, Craig, you got a few minutes? We're in trouble again? Not necessarily. I know that you like to go out, have a good time. Make it like three out of five days a week. Let's go out on pain. Dude. You can't say that, right? I know, I know. Let's try to do normal people hours. It's like the bar is at like hot garbage. <laughs> you know? It's just not, yeah. There is no bar. They just there, do whatever. Yeah, it's, no. You know, when Craig was having his little fit and holding us up, they kept saying, if we don't get on the road now, the roads are going to be icy, it's going to be dangerous. Like, we're on a time crunch here for safety purposes. And that's why I flipped out on them. Well, don't cuss out Whitney and Cameron, because that's really disrespectful. Chelsea, shut up. You shut the f up. This is literally when everyone else knew what I was saying was right. You got involved. They you asked me to say that. Do you know what you need to do? That. You need to said. check your goddamn pants for a vagina because no. you're being a pussy right now. Oh, Shut really? the up I and don't talk to people like that. Whatever, Chelsea. I didn't get mad at Chelsea at all. Chelsea, Respectful. shut up. I think you did. Oh, because Chelsea was getting involved and was saying probably let them do what they want. And it's just I had a clear vision of what I wanted to happen <laughs> and what I knew what was best for everyone, even if they couldn't see it and I was gonna make it happen. Craig was acting like an absolute lunatic. Like, a sp like he, he was spoiled, like a spoiled little brat. Like, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to slap him across the face. Oh, Gary, you guys are idiots. I got a bigger dick than you. <laughs> well, that's weird. Oh, I'm done. You got any car? Just got it. Yeah, I'm getting off the bus. I already have the address. I'm getting right. my own Car. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna sit on a bus for four hours with that. No, I'm getting my own car. Sure enough, the bus ride was several hours longer yeah. than it was supposed to well, be. Well, and that's part of the reason why Whitney and I did not want to get on the bus because Safety. I've lived in Colorado, I've made that drive, I know what it's like, and I know, I mean, when we were coming down that mountain, it was terrifying. It was terrifying. No one's ever seen me that angry. I don't even think I've seen myself that angry. And I think I was just, it, we had been up since before the sun came up. We were all exhausted and we were sitting here having to listen to Craig. I had just reached my limit. And because I knew that we had to get on the road. I don't like him talking to people like that. Damn, Chelsea. I'm proud of you, Chelsea. Look at you. I'm not. I'm sweating right Is now. Is your blood coursing through your veins right now? Did the blood rush straight to your dickhead? Like <laughs> yeah. It was a, it was a f show. Oh, my God. You don't let things fester or linger. No, fortunately. Generally. It's something you rarely see, so I thought it was funny as hell. I don't even you know told him he had a vagina. I know. I'm like, where, where'd that come from? That's your redneck side. Well, you damn right. Hey, y'all. It's Austin. Subscribe here if you like the video and click here for more content.